The man leading them has an offensive background. He was the wide receivers coach at Ohio State when they went to six straight BCS Bowls, then went to Kent State. He was the MAC Coach of the Year last season, the third Kent State coach ever to win that award, joining legendary Washington coach Don James and our own Glenn Mason. Mace was on that list. Yeah. It's an outrage. <laughs> And we're joined now by the head coach of the Boilermakers, Daryl Hazel. Coach, you were an assistant in this conference. You were a head coach in this part of the country as well. How does that experience, both of those experiences, how does that aid in your transition? Well, I think my time at Ohio State, you learn a lot of things from a lot of different people. And uh, you learn the whole organization of how to run the practice schedule and uh, how to get prepared for games and you know my experience at Kent State was good for me because it was my first time stepping into it and you got to learn by fire a lot of those things and uh, you figure out some of those problems on the run and then you go. Watching today's practice it looks like the players have been through this routine for years and we all know that that's not true so it's been incredibly smooth what was the biggest challenge about teaching the players the way you wanted to go through training camp you know the first couple of practices we struggled we really did because they didn't know the tempo they didn't know how to practice as hard as they needed to practice but everything's a learning process from from the way you come to the meeting rooms the way you prepare in the meeting rooms all those things are critically important to be to keep moving forward so uh, they're starting to get it practice 11 they're starting to move around pretty good what are some of the things that you've been impressed with this team wise up to this point I think the biggest thing that I'm starting to see in the last couple days is these guys come together and there's nothing more important to me than a team that's going to have each other's back when it's uh, a hard situation what, what groups position groups do you feel the best about depth wise quality Players. I think our best group is our defensive line. There's eight guys right now we feel that we can put out on the field and that can create some havoc for our offensive lines. Uh, and we'll play all eight of them. Our next group probably coming is the secondary. Now, we're not real deep, but we're getting deeper as we, as we go through camp. So those are the two best groups. I think, um, you know, I'm a little bit concerned about our depth at our offensive line as, as well as running back. I think there's bodies there, but they're not ready yet. How would you describe your offensive philosophy here at Purdue? I think the biggest thing that we're going to try to do is try to get as many different personnel groupings on the field and try to create a lot of different formation looks, personnel looks, shifting and trading and motioning and try to keep people off balance. Does that mean more plays in all of those looks, or are you going to keep it simple but just give multiple looks? We'll be, we'll, be, we'll be able to keep it really simple. and We'll disguise a lot of things, but we'll be running the same play. Coach, you, you inherit a team that's been in two straight bowl games. H how do you address the, the goals with the team? Well, the biggest thing I told them from meeting one was we need to be able to climb out of the middle. And the only way you're going to do it is work. And uh, the guys have really bought in. And I'm, I'm so proud of our football team right now, what they've done and how they've committed themselves to each other, as well as to uh, our coaching staff and our program. So uh, I think we're heading in the right direction. What defines success for you this year? Well, I hope, I hope we're in every situation, every game that we're uh, in, that we have a chance to win it in the fourth quarter. Uh, I'd, be, uh, I'd be shocked if we weren't uh, and disappointed. Um, but the, the success, if our guys lay it out on the field every single play, that's success to me this year. Coach, when you're covering a team that's having a quarterback battle, you're contractually obligated to ask the head coach <laughs> about it. So we can't let you go without asking that question. Okay. Um, yes, we do have a quarterback battle. We have three guys in the, in, the, in the race, and, you know, probably by next Sunday, Monday, we'd like to make a decision to give that guy ownership. But you're talking about three quality guys with Rob Henry and uh, Danny uh, Etling and Austin Appleby. Those are three quality quarterbacks. We feel good about all of them, but somebody's got to win the job. What will sway your decision? You know, I think we'll look back and see who's taking care of the ball the best, who's gotten into the, the, us into the right plays the best, and who's the toughest guy that can uh, stand in there on third and five. New head coach of the Boilermakers, Daryl Hazel. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, thanks guys.